Okay, so um, this one this one might not be a good example. So so this is probably from one of our one of our hosting customers. Still a fantastic site, but what we want to do is get into some of these um, some of these sites that are in my business site. So uh, while we type these in, while Aaron's looking up those websites, um, I did see some of the questions that have come in. One question we're getting a lot is if you're already a one-on-one customer. Um, but you don't have this product and just to clarify this is not the one-on-one -on -one website builder that is available in the beginner home business and developer packages this is an entirely different package it is um, it's it's exclusively based on the site builder it's a new site builder so it is not the same thing that's in those hosting packages um, if you do have one of those hosting packages and you are interested in having the my business site uh, instead what you can go ahead and do is um, call into support, they can help you upgrade to it. Um, you should be able to also see it within your control panel in the section that allows you to switch your package. Um, if you want to try it out with the free trial, you're not ready to give up the old site yet, but you want to still have access to your email and your domain and all that, what you can do is also just add the package to your control to your account. And to do that, you would just go through our normal order process. Um, when you get to the stage where it asks us if you're an existing one-on-one -on -one customer, then you can just go ahead and um, log in at that point with your customer ID and it'll add it to your already uh, hosting account that you have and you can play with it separately. Okay, so we took a look at a couple of these just very briefly. It doesn't look like there's any of my business sites, uh, but we're going we're gonna to take a look at um, some more in a couple seconds here. And just to, just to go back to the opportunities that we have, you can also be featured as the site of the month in our uh, newsletter. So. What we have is is a newsletter that goes out uh, once every two months. If you'd like to be the My Business Site of the Month, it, just simply send us an email to testimonials at one and one dot com. That's testimonials at one a n d one dot com, and give us a quick overview. You know, hey, I've been a my I've I've been a My Business Site customer for this long. This is my background, and just go ahead and put your URL in. We'll check it out, and if it's um, you know, selected, you're going to be featured in a newsletter that goes out to quite a few people, which is going to drive traffic to your website, but also we'll get a testimonial from you, and that testimonial will be on our homepage, right. which is going to, if you're familiar with search engine optimization, we get a lot of traffic. If we have an inbound link to your page, that's really good for you. Right, because we're a highly ranked page already, so Absolutely. it's going to be a little bit more valuable. Absolutely. So uh, just something to keep in mind, and uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at some of these more, and Sandy will answer a couple more questions here while I take a look at these. Um, another question that came in along the same lines for those of you who are hosting customers right now, if you already have a domain name and you have it with another provider, but you want to use it with your My Business site, of course, you can transfer that in. Just go ahead and buy the My Business site, and uh, you're going to have a, a stage in there where it's going to ask you to choose your domain. We've got a couple domain suggestions we even have, and you'll see the option there to transfer. If you're not ready to transfer right away, you want to test it out for a bit first, you can test it out, and our agents are always going to be happy to walk you through transferring a domain over. It's really uh, should be uh, perfectly fine and not a problem. Um, we do have a couple of questions that came in about... Um, whether the visitor counters are invisible to the public. And I do want to comment on that. I think visitor counters are fun. It's something that we all know from before on the web. Um, I don't recommend using a visitor counter as a statistics tool. It's, it's not going to be the same thing. When you're trying to figure out how many visitors to you, you have to your website, you're really going to want to use an actual statistics tool that's going to tell you who these visitors are, where they're coming from, which page they see on your site, how long they spend on your site, um, we have one that's coming out for one-on-one -on -one sometime soon, but in the meantime, uh, we've said it before in previous webinars, I do highly recommend the Google Analytics tool. It's a really simple bit of code. They're going to give you the code. All you have to do then is go in through the menu bar to the settings option. You're going to click into header, and you'll just put that code in there, and it'll already start uh, giving those results. All right, so I'm going to try a couple more of these websites to see if we can get any uh, and, and this is what we what we wanted to get was some people that actually have the My Business Site product. And if you currently have a My Business Site product, it's the one-on-one -on -one My Business Site. It's it's the product we've been talking about in the webinar. If you currently have it and you'd like us to take a look at your website, just go ahead and put that into the uh, question and answer box there, and we'll go ahead and take a look at it. If it's one of the past ones, um, we probably we probably don't want to get don't don't want to get get into those. So. An easy way to tell if you've been using the website builder or if you've been using the My Business Site Builder to build your site, the My Business Site 
product is the only one that has the login on the bottom right hand. The website builder doesn't have that. Now, if you are a My Business Site customer, you don't want the login anymore because you don't want people guessing what your password is, you also have the option to turn that off. But when you're first setting it up, it's kind of convenient to just go to the page and make those instant changes, especially when you're sending it around to your friends and family, they find a typo, hey, impress them, log in right there without going through the control panel and having yeah. to open up a separate program, you know? Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so we found one. Yay! Hooray! And this one is bestinpeople.com. So you can tell this is a um, My Business Site product. It's 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 got that layout that that template that it has the exact same layout you chose for your website earlier. Uh, it's a great minds, great minds think alike. <laughs> so if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see there's that login there, and yeah. and, and, and that's how you're. The other way that we can tell a lot too is when you get down to the bottom, that print button, the sitemap button, always going to show up down at the bottom of the page, and you also have that option of turning on recommend this uh, site to a pay to a friend. Oh, having trouble with English today. And that's going to allow you to send your visitors to your site to send the URL to other people. Okay. So I guess uh, first off, whenever I take a look at this page, um, overall I really like the header. Uh, they, they made the logo their own, mm -hmm. which, is, which is cool. If I had one recommendation to say, uh, it seems like there's a lot of text right now, right? There is. There's not really a lot that's breaking it up. It might be nice to, you know, not just have the picture up in the top, but maybe have a little bit down in there, a little bit more interaction, something uh -huh. like that. So maybe in the center section here, uh, you want to put, maybe maybe make the font bigger or make it a little bit more distinguishable. I think right now some of this text in here kind of runs together, and I, you have a, you have about two or three seconds to grab somebody's attention whenever they first come onto your website. What I would probably recommend is. While this is fine up here, I don't really know in two or three seconds what this company does. And I think that's really the key um, that a lot of people overlook is you want to go to a website and know within a couple seconds, oh, this company does this, right. whatever it might be. And you can do it through text, but people like me, I'm lazy. I don't like to read. Uh, if you can put a good image in there that kind of displays what you do, then I'm going to probably stick around and maybe poke around on your website for a little bit. So I think that might be one recommendation. Just a comment. Um, first of all, I definitely want to give snaps for having the customer quote down on the bottom right. I thought that was a really nice touch. It makes you a little bit more personal and human. It's not just marketing copy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's giving customers a chance to see who you are and who they'd be interacting with. Mm -hmm. As a suggestion, what Aaron was saying, and, and to that point about getting someone's attention when they first get on your page, one of the most important things you need to know as a website owner is this concept of above the fold and below the fold. Mm. The fold that you hear people talking about is going to be how much of your website appears in a browser before someone has to scroll down. Yep. So since there are all of these questions showing up and there's a space between it, it's laid out you know, kind of nicely and it breaks it apart, but maybe if you had them bullet pointed or had them maybe in a little bit of a smaller font, a little bit yeah, more grouped together, yeah. that way you don't have to scroll down to see what the answer to the questions are. Cool. Yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. want to have the first word of the answer so people can see whether it's uh, relevant for them. Okay, okay, yeah, great idea. Let's uh, go ahead and take a, take a look at a couple more here. I love this. Uh, I love this domain name. It's uh, funomics.com. So whenever this comes up, we'll take a look at. If I type it in right, yes, I did. Okay, here we go. All right. So okay, it looks like this. Is this is this one? I can't. Yes, remember. it is. Oh, nice. Okay. Are you at the bottom of the page or at the top? At the bottom. So okay. If you scroll okay. Up, there. there you go. That's what I was looking for. Was the header? It's okay. a little alarming to see a website without header, but there it is. This is wow. good. I mean, they really made it their own. I, I I couldn't. It's it's always a good thing if you can't tell off the first off you know your first impression if it's on my business site. Then they did a lot of work to it. Yes, they did. And you can tell they put a lot of work into this one which is great. Some things that I definitely like about this website, one thing we didn't talk about in the webinar, but I highly recommend you do, up in the upper left near where that URL bar is, you're going to see that Phenomics has uploaded their logo as a fave icon. I mm. love it. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, okay, you can see it up here. Yeah. And kind of go into that, what is a fave icon? So basically, um, this is something that we started doing when we got into, you know, browsers being as complicated as they are now. And you can see on the other pages that Aaron has open right now in Firefox, if you look at the... Um, the website we were just on, the High, High Ridge, you don't have to click on it, but you can mm -hmm. see there's a page that's there, yeah. and that's it. It's just a blank page. That's going to be the default image that shows up with any website if you haven't overwritten it with your own file. Okay. 
the one on one my business site actually does give you that option within settings that you can upload your own thing. So you can actually take your logo, shrink it down to a little size like it is, and then so when somebody has your, your browser open, has the tabs, all these different tabs open, I can immediately look at the browser and see what YouTube is. I can see which one is Phenomics. And so you really get that that logo visibility back. Yeah. I, plus, I just think it looks cool yeah. as a fan of the Internet. So That's good. To, it's good to build a brand to have everything branded with that logo. It shows you really went into the details and, and really uh, prepped out your site. Okay. Um, all right. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look at a couple more of these. And I, I, I think we'll we'll handle a few more oh, of these questions. Just a quick note, too, um, to the owner of, of Phenomics, you might want to check your spelling on writing. Just as a quick tip. Hey, it happens to the best of us. Yes, it does. Thank, thank, thank God for your uh, spell check, right? All right, so let's take a look. Okay, uh, Dustin Vac Maid Service LLC. This is uh, this is another customer currently. I like how they changed the background. I really like that pattern. Yeah, that's really cool. It kind of looks like tile. Mm -hmm. um, if you know, if, if I want, it looks like clean tile. If I want somebody coming over and cleaning my house, I want to know that uh, you know they've got a clean website too. All right, so yeah, I, I, I really, it's, it, it's very, um, I mean, the layout is, is very soft. It's got like the rounded edges, which right. are really popular right now. And I definitely have a compliment for the navigation because it's got everything that I would want to know. Is who are you? What do you have on offer for services? Do you have any customer testimonials or recommendation? Are there discounts? And, oh, mm -hmm. by the way, how do I contact you? Yeah, yeah. It's really nicely laid Extreme, out. Extremely functional, absolutely. Um, I don't know. I think this looks. I think this looks pretty good. This is. Uh, this is very basic. I might try to think. I'm not sure what this is up here. What the actual image is looks like. Ah, so it looks like it's part of a vacuum cleaner. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. So we are just about out of time. We're going to take a couple more questions here. Sandy will answer those, and I'll pull up a couple more websites we'll take a look at. Uh, if you have to go. Uh, that's that's cool. We're going to hang out for like a, about five more minutes or so. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. We hope to see you at the next webinar. You can find it. You can find all the webinars on our YouTube page, and that's youtubecom slash one a n d one. And we'll also be sending you out an email uh, tomorrow that'll have some of this information, and hopefully we'll get all the YouTube videos uploaded by then. So if you if you did miss anything or if you want to go through anything, we'll have all that information for you directly in the YouTube site where you can view those videos. Uh, but like I said, we'll go ahead and take a look at a couple more questions and well, a few actually, more websites. One of the questions we have, and I think it fits really well with what you just said, Aaron, mm -hmm. is how do I add video to my site? Mm -hmm. So why don't we go ahead and add the social media webinar? from okay. YouTube onto Mr. Wiggles okay. and show how easy that is. Or you can choose another YouTube video, of course. All right. So let's go ahead. And this is the one-on-one -on -one channel. Oh, this is actually my user account. But you can see here that we have the last webinar that we did. It's uploaded. Wow, look at that. Almost 400 views. Check it out. It was awesome. So what I can do is I broke this down into like 15-minute uh, segments because that's the max you can have on YouTube. And I can just pull the. Uh, uh, you just pull the. Yeah, but what I need to do is I need to go to the actual video. There we go. Okay. So I can just pull this, right? Mm hmm Let's go ahead and copy that over. Copy it. Are you still logged into Mr. Wiggles? Uh, I think I am. Okay. And where would we like to put the video? You think homepage about us? Uh, the about us. Section. Okay. So if I want to put it there, I would simply click on the link. Go to that page. Now I want to put it. Do we still want those pictures? Will we put a video there? Probably not. Maybe delete them. Okay. So a little bit of editing right there. Just delete that. And again, it asks you, do you really want to delete them? It yes. It will be deleted irrevocably. Irrevocably. Nice. So now you can go ahead and change that header to, oh. if you want. Okay. So just instead of saying gallery, take a look at our facilities, let's call it social media on the web with one one Testing my typing skills here. Yes. Is this putting you on the spot, Aaron? Absolutely. All right. Social media in the web is one one I spelled everything correctly. Okay. okay. And then we want to put the video below it. So we're going to click on where we want to insert it. Hit Add New Element. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and click on More so the rest of the options show up. And you can see down at the bottom there is YouTube, etc. Okay. This is the easiest way I've ever seen to add YouTube video into a website, and I love it.
you just simply paste the URL of the video into that. Wow. It's there in a playable format. So if Where you went over going, to page view, people could click on it immediately in your site.